Hello, my name is Keith Rucker. So we posted this item here up on the uh, my last video uh, as a what's it for you guys to kind of figure out what this item is. And uh, you know, when I got it, I was pretty sure I had a good understanding of what it was, but I wasn't quite sure about everything. Um, so we'll go ahead and give you the answer. So this, this tool actually has two separate purposes. Uh, first off, uh, it is used to check the gauge of a railroad track. Now, standard gauge, at least here in the U.S., is four foot eight and a half inches between the inside measurements of your rails. And I'm out here at the museum, and our railroad that we have is narrow gauge, so it's three foot. So this won't actually measure our railway uh, gauge, but I can at least show you how it would be used on a mainline railroad. I, I thought about going out to the uh, mainline railroad here in town, but I really didn't want to get arrested today for being on uh, the Norfolk Southern right away, so I decided uh, to just come out here. So basically what you would do is you would just put this down here and you would catch this inside hook on this side and this inside hook on this side. And when those were at the right on, on the money, you would know that uh, your rail was engaged. And it also had a scale on this end down here up to two inches in case it was out. You could tell how far out it was. Uh, but the second use for this tool and uh, what many of you uh, posted in your comments uh, identifying it and you're absolutely right is that this and this is the part that I wasn't sure about actually uh, this scale on the end here uh, was what was kind of throwing me off I wasn't quite sure what it was on here for and I really wasn't just thinking once I saw what it was it's like ah, oh yeah so in a curve on a railroad track what happens is, is they bank that, that rail so that the, uh, the outside uh, of the rail is a little bit higher than the inside of the rail. Very similar to how they would bank a racetrack, uh, where you have that curve where you're going up on the incline. And that helps the cars actually stay on when they're going around a curve. And what this is, is it measures that incline, what they call the super elevation. And uh, so what you would do is, you would of course hook this end on the, on the rail down here. I'm gonna have to slide it down on mine. Uh, but uh, and then you would, Using the scale, you would drop it down and you would just raise and lower this piece until the bubble was level. There's a level right here, and when that level bubble was level, you would uh, tighten this nut down and you could read how much uh, how much higher the outside rail was than the inside, again called the super elevation. And uh, there's a formula to determine what the super elevation of a curve should be based on the radius of the curve, based on uh, the speed of the train, uh, I can't remember all the, the, the variables that's in that formula, but you could actually calculate what that should be. Um, and this would be used uh, when they're working on the track or inspecting track to make sure that it was within spec. So what you have here is a dual purpose tool. It's a uh, railroad gauge and a level for measuring the super elevation on a railroad track. So thank you guys for all your comments. Uh, wow. I was really surprised at how many people uh, responded and uh, knew what this was or was guessing what this was and, and how accurate you were. So uh, uh, being more of a machinist type uh, content, I was kind of surprised how many people recognize this as a railroad tool. So good job, guys. And uh, again, if anybody can identify the maker of this particular one, I would still be very interested in that as well.